What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we'll be taking a look at a title called Star Survivor. I actually missed coverage on, I didn't miss coverage on this one. They've had a demo out for a little bit, but I felt like their demo was so close, uh, kind of in proximity to their release, that I would just wait for the final release. But, it seems like the game is going through some kind of restructuring. So anyways, the game no longer has a release date and it says coming soon. So I'm covering the demo here today. Uh, if you've never seen Star Survivor before, it is a bullet heaven horde survival roguelike where you have a giant fat battle cruiser and you are upgrading it. I've talked about this on stream many, many times before that like I've wanted a survivor game where you're creating a battle cruiser that just annihilates enemies. That's all that I want is I want one giant cruiser class vessel and I get like support staff and I get like fighters and I get like drones and carrier bays and I can like fire off, you know, Death Star cannons that wipe out half of the screen. This game seems like it's angling to be that title. So we're going to check the demo out today and see if it's worth your notice. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description along with my Discord and my Twitch stream and all my other requisite social media links. Let's play the game. As of right now, I only have one ship, the SS Survivor. I've only played like one or two rounds. Uh, so we're going to dive straight on in and see how this goes. Uh, this game controls a little bit differently from other games. So W, A, S, and D move you around. The game does have very lightweight Newtonian physics. And then you use the arrow keys in order to rotate your ship. And you have different guns on different sides of the ship that will fire depending on your facing. It, took, it takes a little bit to get used to, in all honesty. Uh, I'm big on mouse control. And so what I'd really like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to re-key bind the rotation of my ship to the left and right mouse clicks. That way I could just have like a normal gamer posture while playing the game. But as of right now, that doesn't seem to be available. The first thing that struck me with this game is absolutely how much the soundtrack booms. This game's soundtrack has kind of a fuzzy, crunchy sort of throb to it that I think actually really, really, really works. It's sort of that audio filter that they put on music when you're playing like cyberpunk and you go into like a nightclub, but you're like waiting at the front to talk to the bouncer, the entire game kind of has that filter over the top of it, and I actually really like it a ton. Now, this game follows the exact same blueprint you're going to see from every other Vampire Survivor style game. You kill enemies, they drop crystals, you pick them up, you get upgrades, but this game has a deck building mechanic to it where you build your own deck of upgrades, and only things inside your deck can come up in the rotation or in the draft, thus allowing you kind of control over how your run's going to go. I personally am, like, vehemently against any kind of deck building. I just don't like deck building as a mechanic. And so, like... I don't really, I, I, I don't really like it, but I'm sure other people will like it. That's very much my subjective taste. Uh, let's go ahead and get, we've got credit gems. Yeah, machine learning school. Let's get some credit gems, dude. I'm trying to build up kind of my metagame passives before we start doing major things. Uh, the green crystals, those are level ups that you're seeing right there. And then the yellow crystals are the metagame currency that allow you to upgrade and buy new cards for decks. A forward piercing projectile weapon or a targeting computer that gives us more range. Yeah, let's make our range a little bit larger. I'll start stacking on weapons in a minute. We're kind of like in the easy phase of the game right now. We're having like a little weak cannon doesn't really matter. Uh, so you can run into those meteors, by the way. Don't run into those asteroids. Uh, let's see, we've got a fighter squadron, yes. I'll take a fighter squadron. Let's put a fighter squadron in our butt slot. That's right, I keep fighters inside my butt. Got I've got them luchadores inside my booty. Let's grab a few more crystals. We've got a little bit more damage going out. I'm a big fan of drone combat, and I'm a big fan of, like, fighter squadrons, so we're gonna lean into that kind of heavily. That says that it gives me another fighter squadron. I'm gonna wait and watch and see if it actually does or not. And I think we're gonna need to get clear, because we've got, like, bigger, nastier Tyranids coming after us right now. Alright, space bugs. It's time to meet your match. But I would like to space bugs. Can you just like scooch over for a second so that I can get to those powerful upgrade crystals so that I can kill you more better? Just a, just an honest question. Just a thing I figured I would ask. Fires two projectiles that explode in contact with each other. A forward piercing projectile weapon or a thermal piercing beam. Yeah, I want that. Thermal piercing beam. And then we've got an auto turret. Yeah, I'll take an auto turret, sure. Let's get the front of our, since I tend to face forward with most of my weapons, 
I'm gonna focus really, really heavily on forward-facing weapons. Oh, the asteroids go through each other! I didn't expect that. I thought the asteroids would crash into one another and destroy one another, but they actually clip through one another. That's a little bit upsetting. A little tiny bit upsetting. A random targeted volley of ballistic missiles. Yeah, that sounds cool. I want that. Give me that. We'll put it we'll put it on our left side. I don't know if it like omni targets or like it doesn't matter, but let's see here. Ten percent chance to burn to hit on all equipment in that quadrant. We've got thrusters. Uh yeah, we'll take the to take the upgrade to turrets. Oh yeah, dude, it like lights entire chunks of the galaxy on fire. Oh, I like that. Okay, yeah, I'm down with that right there. This is a game that it kind of gets you into the action very, very quickly. Like, they start throwing a lot of enemies at you very, very quickly, and I like that about it. Like, you don't have to wait 10 minutes to get to the good part. Like, that's really, really nice how quickly this game escalates and gets nasty on you. Ow, my butt. Okay, uh, let's go with some assault cannons, and we'll put those on the front of the ship. I'm already down to 1 HP. That kind of sucks. I would rather not be at 1 HP right now. I would like to be at 10 trillion HP, but unfortunately, life no likes me. Uh, if you're trying to get metagame currency, destroy the asteroids. The asteroids, they drop a ton of metagame currency. Uh, sort of like you're space mining them, I guess. We'll grab a little bit of that right there. Oh, there's bugs down there. I would like for the viewpoint to be zoomed out like another 10% or so. Just give me a little bit more view of the field. I feel like the camera is a little bit tight. I can see if I can zoom out in just a second. Uh, let's go an auto-targeting laser beam turret. Everything in our front quadrant gets a bonus for being near the assault cannon. And gets like that everything gets lit on fire buff. So I'm kind of like excited about lighting things on fire. So I'm going to kind of like focus on that. Never mind the fact that lighting a fire in the vacuum of space is probably horrendously difficult. Uh, boost! Okay, we barely escaped from that one. I almost died. Almost hurt. Almost made my feelings explode in a cacophony of tears and violence. What else do we have? One second of- that's not gonna help me. I've already been hit too many times. Uh, orbiting explosive drones. Yeah, I want that. Give me that. I'm always- I'm always down to add a little bit more explodomancy to my life. Wipe all them out. Get all of their alien crystals. There we go. There we go. There we go. Burn, dudes. Burn. I command you to burn. Uh, knock back enemies in a radius, bigger pickup radius, a flat cannon. Yeah, flat cannon. Let's do that. I want I want flat cannon. Flat cannon sounds like funsies. Was the flat cannon on my left side or my right side? Now I can't remember. Either way, we've got like orbitals and stuff, so I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. Uh, I need to punch through on this side or I need to punch through somewhere. Otherwise, I'm going to get got. I like how there's just randomly these aliens that are going the wrong direction from all the other aliens trying to neutralize the threat. They're like, I'm out, man. He's got flat cannons and a death laser that lights me on fire. I want no part of this. 10% uh, chance to fire your flat cannon whenever a missile hits. Ooh, a recharging shield? That might actually be a good idea, considering how low my HP is. Uh, the hitboxes in this game, they seem to be very, very tight, by the way. I've tested out the hitboxes on, like, the two rounds that I played prior to this very specifically because I think with Horde survival games, an area that a lot of them struggle is with hitboxes. Uh, some of them have very, very loosey-goosey hitboxes, and that loosey-goosiness makes the entire game not feel good. And so, like, I wanted to test the hitboxes early, and I'm pleased to report that the hitboxes in this game are very solid. Like, they are super tight, like, almost pixel-perfect from what I've played so far. Uh, we've got improved thrusters, a flamethrower, an auto-targeting burst turret. Sure. Auto-targeting burst turret, welcome to my life. I hope you enjoy your stay. Just gonna kind of like sneak through right there for a minute. I don't know if there's gonna be bosses or anything that I have to deal with as we get further on into the game. It looks like we're on threat level three right now. I don't know exactly when threat level midnight's gonna show up, but it's gonna show up at some point. And there's probably going to be some kind of klaxon or some kind of like Ruger that's going to let us know that the bad guys are here. My lasers can have a chance. Ooh, scout drones that pick up goodies. Yeah, I don't like that it takes up a slot, but I can live with it. Like, that probably was not the best investment I could have possibly made, but, like, I'm going to take it anyways because I'm a drone pilot. I love drones. I think they're rad. Every single game that allows me to have drones 
you can more or less guarantee that I'm going to specialize in drones because I like them and they make me happy. All right, so we've got heavy cannons. Can I actually put these anywhere? Oh, it swaps. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, make my shield more better. That sounds good. Two charges on my shield sounds good to me right now. We're like five minutes in, and I'd like to see ten minutes. I feel like I deserve ten minutes. I feel like I've earned ten minutes through the power of my alien-crushing cruiser being rad as hell. All right, let's push over to the left here. Get on out of the way, space bergs. Space bugs, they gotta die through the space where I will fly. What is that thing? I don't know what that is. That's new. I'm assuming that it's some kind of alien space landmine or something, and if I run into it, something bad's gonna happen. How long does it take my second shield module to charge up? Plus one max health, or I can upgrade my laser beams. Yeah, let's upgrade my lancer beam and make it a little bit stronger and light people on fire. What am I saying? Light people on fire. These are space bugs, not people. They don't even count. They're not even sentient. They're just like a toenail to the might of the horde. Ooh, a free upgrade, huh? Uh, I'll make my assault cannons fire faster. That sounds like a decent plan. My shield just took a hit. I am depression. My life is destroyed and my shield is thin and no longer maximum bluey. That's I describe my shield as being bluey. Uh, shield recharge rate could be faster... Proximity mines, particle. I guess I'll just take the upgrade uh, to my shield recharge rate since we can't really slot or fit anything else in for right now. Where is that? That alien missed me. Where is he going? He's like flying off in a differentiated direction, man. Like stick to the top. I guess I can try to destroy that rock right there for extra mun muns. There we go, dude. Get myself a couple more ducats for spending back at the old space canteen. I heard they just got Twix bars in, dude, and I'm really passionate about Twix bars, especially in space, dude. Like, a lot of people think that they've tasted a Twix bar, but they've never they've never tasted a Twix bar in zero-G. All right? That's too... I don't know what killed me. Well, I got new card packs, so that's good. We've got a scout drone, and... Oh, it's a chance for any drone to pick up gems. Okay. Oh, for all quadrant equipment. So we put that. I guess we put that inside of a bank that has a lot of drones or something. We only get to pick one of these, though. Uh, we can get a forward equipment expansion slot. Oh, I can claim them all. Never mind. I take it back. I'm completely and totally wrong about what I can do here with the things that I have. Uh, we've got the deck builder over here. Let's make a let's make a new deck. Yeah. Uh, let's add some cards. So we'll throw in assault cannons. Oh, I can have like three of those? Okay. How many assault cannon-like things do I have? Hold on, let me go back. Alright, so I built a new deck called the Daka Boat. It's got 34 cards. I don't know if there's like a maximum amount of cards. This one's got 54 cards. So maybe I should work it on up to there. But the Daka Boat's got pretty much every projectile weapon. And every projectile weapon like upgrade that you can possibly imagine. We do have some ballistic missiles in there. We do have burst turrets. And like we do have like, you know, we do have we, we, we do have some upgrades for all the stuff that I've put in there. We've got some forward attack slots. We've got drones for days. We've got targeting range. We've got shields. We've got shotguns. If it fires a bullet, we have taken that bullet. Uh, but I do think there's probably room for a few more things to be added on in. Machine learning is nice to have. So we'll take machine learning. We'll throw a couple of buffs on in there. Targeting computer. I've got two of those in there already, so I think I'm okay with that chance. I didn't put in any heavy cannons. But, like, I don't know if I need heavy cannons. Like, are the heavy cannons really going to be something that makes my life better, you know? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put some rail guns in, too. Maybe, maybe we'll just have, like, one rail gun, though. I'll take it out. And then we'll get, like, some piercing and some weapon attack speed right there. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's run this thing, dude. Have I selected the proper deck? I've also got money, and I can upgrade things inside of my inside of my inside of my deck here. So, like, I can make it so that my my cannons they get an extra ten percent attack speed, and then for my burst turrets, I can upgrade that to give them more projectiles. And then for my ballistic missiles, 
Uh, it looks like I can make the burn area size larger too, but unfortunately I'm too poor for that. So let's go ahead and start a game, I guess. I have selected my boat. I don't know if I have the right deck selected. I guess we'll find out. I'm taking this interstellar conflict very seriously. Ensign, hard rotation to port. All right, let's wipe out some bad guys. See if uh, see if any of our our cool upgrades come through. Uh, there's a shot cannon right there. I want a fighter squadron. We're going we're going full drone bay, bro. All the drones in the world. I probably actually should save frontal slots for guns. That was probably a mistake. That was probably a tactical error. I do like the way the game uses slots to focus your fire. And honestly, it's obvious to me the way that that functions in the context of the deck building game, in all honesty. Like, the deck building being there actually makes sense after you've played it for a little bit. Let's go plus one max drones. Yeah. And then one forward quick, uh, yeah, forward equipment slot sounds good. We'll kind of like prep. Oh, dude, there's my drones. We got four. Oh, I'm about to make the most dopest drone deck on Earth, dude. I'm so excited about this. I'm like actually functionally hyped about having like a huge drone fleet that does all my work for me, dude, so that I can just be like a maximum strength lazy boy. Give me, give me some more upgrades. What else we got? We got another fighter squadron. Do it. Six drones, son. There we go. Oh, dude, this is going to be filthy once it actually fully gets rolling. Oh, I'm excited about this deck right here, dude. This is this is this is working towards one of my passions right now, which is just having like a huge swarm carrier fleet. Yup. Nobody chooses to have a carrier fleet faster than me in any sci-fi space game, man. I click it so fast that my finger burns on the mouse. I can't help it. Uh, let's go for We'll go for a burst turret on the front of the ship. Yeah, we've got a little bit of extra DACA being sent out. All right, what's my next upgrade? Uh, let's get another burst turret on the front of the craft. I want to have all machine guns on the front of the ship. I'm going to need my targeting range, though, to go up pretty aggressively here. So hopefully those targeting range upgrades come along. Yeah, I don't particularly personally like deck building, but actually the deck building kind of feels like it makes sense in the confines of this game. The downside to the deck building is that the process of creating a deck like takes a little while, and then you've got a theory crafted and whatnot. And I think that like, ooh, recharging shields? Yeah, give me the recharging shields, there we go. Um, I, I do think that the deck building aspect kind of slows down the middle meta game a little bit instead of it being added to just like an overarching drop. But when you've got that many items in your game, it is kind of nice to give the player the ability to customize the way that they play the game. Like if you're playing Vampire Survivors and you don't really like garlic, you can banish it, which is kind of the same thing as deck building. It's just you're doing it on the fly inside the game. I'm kind of wondering if they pulled the game and got rid of the release date because they're thinking of reworking. They they did have, I should have read, they had a blog post that they put up about why the game got pushed back. Ooh, burst turret, two more volleys? Yeah, do it. I want the front of my ship to be like, brrrr, like I want it to be like an MP7, dude. Like just like a never ending fire of just spray. That's all that I want coming out of the front of my ship. Although it looks like these are omnidirectional. It looks like they're firing in like every direction, maybe. Oh god. Okay, yeah, it was almost bad. I mean, we killed one of them, so that's nice. Yeah, give me my monies. And give me another batch of drones. So we should get three more drones now from that one upgrade. My shield took a little bit of a hit right there, but it's better that my mintberry shield takes damage rather than me taking damage. So I'm okay with it. Oh yes. It's coming together. Can you feel it? Can you feel the drones tonight? The drones. The peace the slaughter brings. I'm gonna try to dance through right there, but I gotta level up at a really bad spot. I'm gonna take one extra max shield health. 
Oh, you see that maneuver right there, dude? Yeah, we hit him with the crazy Ivan. All right, all right. This human's a madman. Who does maneuvers like that? Me, son. I watched Top Gun one too many times, and I'm a reckless renegade that doesn't listen to my team. Uh, I'll take another forward equipment slot because I don't feel like we're struggling that badly right now. I, I, I don't think we're struggling with killing aliens right now. I feel like the alien killing is going okay. We lost a shield right there. That's a bummer. However, it will recharge. It'll recharge. It's going to be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and give me a... Ooh, turret attack range? Yeah, let's take that. Make my little red circle bigger so that I can engage from a longer range. It'd be nice if the if the actual targeting range made the camera zoom out like 5% each time too. That would definitely add like a little bit of extra utility to that ability. Kind of like, so I was asking for the camera to be zoomed out ever so slightly further. And if you can find a way to incorporate that with the overarching mechanics of the game, even better. Protect me, my drones. Protect me. Uh, yeah, get another upgrade to our burst turrets. Two more projectiles that fire each time. I'll take it. Yeah, we're starting to get some serious scow off the front of the ship, man. Pachow, pachow. All right, let's continue. If you guys could kill, if you guys could kill that asteroid, it would be good. But I don't think the asteroid is getting kilted. There's starting to be a lot of detritus and debris floating around. I think the little tiny bugs got an upgrade. It looks like they have little armors or something on now. Like they've got like little yellow and orange parts on them. Yeah, I'll take some extra money. Upgrading cards seems like it's very much a worthwhile endeavor. Um, Give me a shot cannon on the front of the ship. Yeah, I just like to have a little bit more damage going out, and I'm okay with a shotgun. Those damage numbers are really starting to stack up, aren't they? There we go. Focus all of your ire on them. Give them the power of the Space AA-12, which is objectively the coolest firearm ever invented. I love everything about the AA-12. I want to shoot one so bad. Like, I love the way it looks visually. I love the way it looks when it's shooting. Uh, everything about the AA-12 is perfect, and I will not hear anything to the contrary. It is one of the coolest guns that mankind has ever created for themselves. Uh, we're at six minutes right now, and we still have not really taken a damage. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with our progress. I do think that crystal collection utilities need to be added to this deck. Having to fly around and pick up my own stuff like an idiot... No, that is not baller. Having things that collect your resources for you, that is the essence of baller. And I need to, I need to, you know, we're pretty dope right now. But, like, I would like to be even more dope. More shield health? Sure. Absolutely. I do like how the shield gets thicker and more sparkly the more layers of shield that you have. I actually like that a lot. That's a nice little visual effect. This is a game that really encapsulates the chaos that I'm looking for when it comes to a horde survival game. It's definitely scratching the itch right now. I get a lot of Horde survival games that cross my desk, and a lot of them I play them for like 20 minutes, and I like eye roll, and I'm like, why would I play this instead of just playing Vampire Survivors? This has the addition of the deck building mechanic. It has the addition of just the theme of being a battle cruiser in space with posi like with positional broadsides that you need to set up, and then on top of that, it's got the control mechanism that's a little bit different as well that I think spices up the gameplay a bit. And honestly, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm enjoying myself right now. This is actively a fun game. And so anyways, I'm hoping the fact that they uh, push their release back isn't having to do with securing finances or anything like that. Because I would like to see this game be made. This demo is freely and actively available to you right now on Steam. You can go play it. The main things that I would like to see from the game right now is the ability to rebind keys because I don't think that I can do that. It looks like we can't click over here. I want to change my rotate left and my rotate light, uh, right to my mouse, to my mouse. But other than that, that's pretty much the only thing that I would like to see for right now. Other than that, my grievances with general deck building aside, I think the game is pretty rad. 
I think it's pretty fun in spite of the fact that I personally don't like building decks. So anyways, kind of an enjoyable little title right here. Definitely, if you're a fan of the genre, you should go look at it. At least try it. Oh, these guys are getting a little bit thicker, dude. They're not dying. They're not dying. I shot them in the face with a shotgun, and they were like, no, sir. Not for me. I reject this particular tactic. Okay. All right. We're going to need, I think, a little bit more focus damage. It seems more burst turret bullets or another burst turret. Another burst turret. Yeah. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can almost hear the Genesis-like drum solo right now because I can feel it calling in the air tonight. The butt buck of my SMG that I have improvised built on the fly. Just keep firing. Just keep firing. I know they're, I know they're pushing up on us aggressively right now, and it's scary. We're at threat level 7, though. Threat level 7. We gotta push this further. I've gotta be the ultimate star captain. All other star captains will look at statues of me and be like, damn, I wish I was as dope as that star captain when it comes to squishing space roaches. Give me a little bit of that. Yeah, give me some of those goodies right there. There we go. Oh, it actually gives you a countdown at the bottom of the screen for how many crystals you gotta pick up before you level. That's actually really nice quality of life. I never thought about how much that would actually be helpful, but that's actually pretty helpful information to be aware of instead of just having a conceptualized meter that fills up. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I think that represents like a simplification and knowing when to expect your next upgrade that I don't think any game has really had so far. Uh, yeah, upgrade the burst turrets again for even more DACA. Yup, 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 yup. I haven't seen a lot of my shotgun upgrades come through yet. I did put shotgun upgrades in here. And we do have some shotguns rocking. Just keep slaying. We need 192 crystals before our next level. I just ran into an alien right there. We're going to spin around right here, grab all this money treasure. There we go. Money treasure acquired. Disregard space insect authorities. Acquire treasure. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to- Oh, the booster is only forward-facing. I learned a new thing. Okay. Fair. I was gonna try to burst downwards, but you gotta have your ship faced if you want to boost. Alright. Set up just kind of a safe little corner right here. Give him a full blast of the shotgun. I do think that our DPS is falling off, though. We're gonna have to do something about that, either by adding more guns to the equation, or by getting better upgrades for the deck to make the guns we already have more effective. I feel like I picked up a lot more than five crystals right there, but like it says I picked up five crystals. I'm gonna trust it because if there's one thing I know, computers are better at counting than I am. All right, so there's a few more crystals right there about halfway to a level. Just keep on firing. Enemy variety I think could possibly go up. We're starting to see a lot of repeats right now. Or, or just like the same thing we were already fighting, just with more armor you got to blast off of it. All right, we'll carry it on over here, grab a few more crystals. Honestly, there's not a whole lot of crystal piles around. Like, it's mostly money that's laying around all over the place. And while I'm okay with money... Yeah, I think that's maybe like a healing thing that drops. Wait, there's a chicken on radar. What does the chicken do? Hold on, we've got a trick. We've got a chicken on the edge of our screen. I'm on the edge of my seat to find out what the chicken does. Oh, I think the chicken just heals us. So instead of it being a floor chicken, like in uh, Vampire Survivors, it's a space chicken. I think that's the joke that they're making. I think it's a little chicken with a space helmet on, and when you loot it, you get health back. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I just want to level up, really. There we go, level up. All right, so we can get another spread shot. We can get another forward equipment slot. I'm going to fill in some of my other slots with more shot cannons, I guess, so that I've got fire going out in alternate directions. Now that we've developed our frontally facing, you know, fusillade, it's time for us to work on other things. Wow, these guys are tough. They don't go down. They got some serious chins on them. Ooh, new enemy. We got big guys over there. They look like they're just resized versions of the other ones, but still, it's nice to see at least some variation on in there. But yeah, this is Star Survivor. I like it a lot. I like the theme. I like the music. I like the atmosphere. 
Uh, I'm not so keen on the deck building, but the deck building does make sense in the context of how the game functions. And so anyways, like, I'm not totally against it now that I've played the game for like 30 minutes. Uh, but yeah, Star Survivor, go check out the demo. Hopefully they're not having issues getting the game out. Uh, I was going to cover it when it came out, but then they swapped it over from like a release on like November 7th or something like that to coming soon. And so hopefully the game reaches its fruition. I think this is actually a really fun Vampire Survivors game. And so I'm looking forward to it now. My name is Flattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you do not have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had Star Survivor. Tomorrow we will have something else. Thanks for hanging out with me, and that's about all that I have got. Bye, folks.